what's going on guys as always it's a blessing to be here you're here with crypto e if you guys are ready to eat then subscribe to this channel with the bell notification so you don't miss out on anything and you can also be notified every single time i drop information pack videos just like the one you're watching right now but by that being said we'll take a look at a quick article that said 320 million stolen from one hole replaced by parent firm it's a little suspicious to me but we'll get into it right after this beautiful intro 4x, 4x, everything get 4x. <laughs> As you guys can see, 320 million stolen from wormhole replaced by the parent firm. So the parent firm replacing it is a little iffy to me. I understand, you know, you have to do something, take a type of action to make investors or even retail traders, anyone just be like, okay, they're at least taking some type of stand firm action to this problem. But why would you replace $320 million that fast, especially if it's stolen? I'm sure you guys have insurance or some type of deals where you can work it out, but we'll keep reading. For most DeFi projects, a loss of 320 million in a hack would be fatal. That's completely true. That's insane. But not for a wormhole. Barely a day after 120,000 wrapped Ethereum tokens were stolen, that equivalents to 320 million from the protocol, an audacious hack. His parent company, Jump Trading, has replaced the lost funds in their entirety. It's a staggering amount of money and jump trading can likely afford it thanks to how responsible for executing crypto trades on behalf of Robinhood. So we see the Robinhood issue and you know it's attached to Robinhood now. So what I say from my perspective is of course again I'm just telling you guys again it's amazing to replace it and that just lets your investors know that what kind of backing you have behind your company when things like this go missing they can depend on you. But how many times or how long can of the longevity can you hold on to when you're getting hacked this many times? So I guess this is their first time, but they still stole 320 million and they just replaced it right away. Like it was nothing. That's insane. You know, that also lets us know how much money they have in the bank or how much money they have in their holdings. But it's a little iffy to me how it's, uh, you know, it's connected to Robinhood. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just looking at these markets a little too... <laughs> too hard staring at these markets but i'm getting a little bit of understanding behind them and how they move but it's just a little iffy to me how you replace 320 million that fast are you the one that stole it from yourself i don't know but we'll keep reading allegedly i guess wormhole serves as a bridge between solano and ethereum enabling crypto enthusiasts to move their tokens between blo both blockchains on twitter jump trading which is a parent company said the company well, believes in a multi-chain future and that wormhole is essential infrastructure, end quote. Jump's president, Kenav Karia, admitted that he's, quote, aged two years and two weeks because of this disruption, but added, quote, I'm so damn proud of everyone on the Jump and wormhole teams today. Insane Tennessee and energy in face of a wildly difficult situation, end quote. And that's what basically the president responded to this specific issue of losing 320 million dollars guys when we talk about the crypto markets it makes these amounts of money look small but these amounts of money are huge and they're very largely and again we see how much backing and how strong the company is but it's just a personal thing it's a little iffy to me but back up and running wormhole has now resumed services fully but the hefty cash injections from its partner company suggests that there's a little chance that the protocol will recover the stolen funds this was the fourth largest hack in crypto history. That's insane. That's what I'm telling you guys. Difficult to leave your money on exchanges, you know. Just leave the most that you can, but put it into a hard wallet. There have been hope that the person responsible was a white hat hacker. No, it's not. Someone who isn't interested in monetary gains, but exposing flaws in a protocol's code. Wormhole has offered a 10 million bug bounty to the hacker if they return the wrapped Ethereum. But those pleas have fallen on deaf ears so far. <laughs> Man, I don't know what you're expecting. Somebody stole 320 million and you're telling them that you will give them 10 million to come forth. 
Are you serious right now? There's so many repercussions going on with this <laughs> statement here. Offer 10 million. You're basically giving him 310 million. He's basically giving you guys 310 million back to just keep 10 million. But at the same time, when he gives you guys this money, because he didn't have clearance and signature from you guys, he didn't take this actions in a truthful manner. It doesn't matter if he's a white hat hacker, you still have to sue him. And even if you don't want to sue him, any type of government organization will go after him because he committed such fraud, fraudulent, because he committed such a hack to do a fraudulent amount. And that's an insane amount, 320 million. He'll probably be told he can't have a computer for the rest of his life be put in jail and all these type of things so i don't know man from what i can see this this outcome here has nothing to do with what the person stole i guess if the person stole it but there's two outcomes somebody stole it or this is an insider job from the company and again allegedly but solana price has rebounded substantially over the past 24 hour threat has passed up seven percent i just wanted to give you guys this quick news on how you guys can even see 320 million stolen from wormhole replaced by his parent firm but that being said guys if you guys are interested in anything you've watched like this video subscribe to this channel for more i'm you well with your exchange i'll see you guys on the next video peace out